Hi guys, my name's Roger Williams. I own an engine shop located here in St. Paul, Indiana. We build racing engines for all kinds of classes of cars. I own a USAC Silver Crown team myself and uh, we've been uh, uh, fairly competitive with it. I've been using uh, uh, E3 spark plugs for a long time. They've been really good to me. They've become good friends. Um, and they came to me and asked me to do some testing for them. Uh, today we're going to test uh, two versions of the same plug. Uh, the common plug that we've been using for a while is it has got two legs uh, with the diamond fire tip in the center but it only has two, two ground straps coming off of it and um, the new plug uh, that they're proposing has three legs. Purpose is, is just to add more strength and durability to the, uh, to the wire of the plug. Uh, so today we're going to uh, put it through its tests. We're going to run it in a, uh, a little stock car engine on our dyno and uh, we're going to see if there's any performance differences between the two-legged strapped plug and the three-legged strapped plug. The engine we're using is a uh, not so conventional uh, two-barrel 406 class engine used in our street stock racing classes but it's been very consistent very repeatable engine it'll be a good engine to use in this test. Okay, we're starting our test out, testing the E3-103 two-leg, two-leg uh, plug. We'll make three back-to-back -back pulls and average them. With time uh, between pulls, let the engine cool and temperature stabilize. We want to get as repeatable, consistent pulls as possible is the whole idea here. engine was very repeatable. After three pulls, our average data between 5,000 and 63, you can see that we had an average horsepower of 501.88, 502.75, and 502.42. That's three consecutive pulls trying to keep the water temperature pretty equal, starting out about 155 range, between 150 and 155 on our water. The um, uh, that is on the test with the two-prong plug, E3-103 two-prong. Okay, now it's time to switch over to the E3-103 three-prong plug. We're going to see what kind of difference it makes, if any. Okay, you can see after three real hard pulls, the burn pattern on our two-prong plug, 103 two-prong, looks pretty good. Fuel mixture's good, engine's running good. Alright, here we are finishing up, plugging on our E3 spark plug wires back onto the back on the spark plugs here. Ready to make our pulls on the uh, three-legged 103s. See how these work. Alright, here we go again. We have the E3 three-leg 103s installed now. We're going to see what the difference is. We're going to try to keep all our pulls at 150 degrees range between 150 and 160 um, and uh, make three consecutive back-to-back -back pulls and uh, that will give us our data we need to compare to the, the other 
pulls we made with the two-legged ones. Here we go. pulls on the three prong plugs we're going to analyze our data okay as you can see our data is average between 5,000 and 6,300 and that's three pulls stacked on top of each other and that is our average data the first pull was a 503.24 503.11 and a 503.48 for the third pull so obviously we're very consistent we're making very repeatable uh, pulls on the uh, on our tests so we can see any little data changes you know if we want to talk about peak numbers the peak number would be about 511 on this particular engine but I'm more interested in average data all right we've completed our tests and the uh, the results are in it appears uh, after testing both the three-leg and the two-legged 103 plugs that the three-legged plug produces approximately one horsepower more than the two-legged. So virtually no difference, no loss of power by going to the three-legged plug is what we have found. Um, if it adds a little bit of durability to the plug, makes it last a little bit longer, then I'm all for it. I think it's a good idea. I think our engineers are on top of the game and trying to develop a better product for us. E3 Ignition Products. What are you running?